I'm gonna keep it a buck. The Sunday banner is an absolute skip. But of course, don't just take my word for it. We're gonna talk about it today. But before we get into that, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that wonderful goodness. It would be very, very appreciated. And of course, don't forget to check out GamerSubs. Use code Tystra for 10% off. But without any further delay, let's go ahead and dive into Sunday's banner. Now, as you can see, we have our four stars already popped up. I got Arlen, I got Chingy, or Quinky, or we Geeky, I don't know. Uh, and then we have Tingyun. So first off, let's talk about the worst. Arlen. I think we all know that Arlen is definitely one of those characters that we look at, and if we pull him, we regret it. Arlen is terrible, and I don't think anybody is going to argue that sentiment. Um, now, if if you don't know, he's on the path of destruction. He is a elect or not electro lightning DPS character, right? And he came out at the start of the game. However, the problem is that he has not been very very good ever uh he is literally in tier 5 for the actual tier list and as you can see tier 5 in general is the worst of the worst the forgotten ones the ones that we don't ever use arlen right there you know in the dps slot right there for memory of chaos we go down to pure fiction which you would think it would do a, a tiny bit better nope he's right down there as well and then of course apocalyptic shadow boom he's right there <laughs> and that's at E6, right? Now, the problem with Arlen is he kind of has a Hu Tao kit in a game where Hu Tao kits don't really benefit. Consumes his HP to do more damage. Now, it would have been great, I guess, if by that time there weren't other characters that came out alongside him that were already better DPSs. Um, even Don Hung, regular Don Hung, where is he? Even Don Hung, even though he's in the same, like, area i still view him as a better dps character right there was him uh let's see if we get like we could actually look through the tier list um herda which herda at first was not great like moc she's at tier five which i don't know i've never used her in moc but pure fiction she became phenomenal um and at the time we also got zella and zella you know is a dps we all know this but yeah i think that if you're looking for four star dps's it's definitely not Arlen because Arlen is one of those characters that I feel that if you're using him, you're using him because you are just simply unlucky. Not the creator, just you're lucky, unlucky. Um, speaking of DPSs, Chingy, Quingy, Quinky, whatever her name is, I don't care anymore. Uh, people get mad, it's whatever. Um, her thing is... When she gets to, like, her, like, fully maxed out, like, E6 character, she can be really, really great. If we look at the tier list right here, right? And I know that I keep referencing this, but it's the easiest thing to reference, right? Uh, where is she? So, right here, she's in tier 3 for MOC, right? Or this is Apocalyptic Shadow. She's in... No? What is this? Where are we in? Yeah, it's Apocalyptic Shadow. Why does it say Apocalyptic Shadow? Oh, I see. So Apocalyptic Shadow, when she's E6, she is tier three. When she's E0, she's tier four. Now, if you look around in Pure Fiction, she's tier four in MOC, she's tier two, which isn't great, right? It's definitely not great. In tier two, like I'm surprised that she's actually in there, um, but that's just for MOC. Overall, like as her character, she's basically a like random character. Basically, if she gets certain tiles, she's able to like do uh, like a lot of damage off of her special, her skill. Sorry, <clears throat> she's able to do stuff off of her skill. But the thing is, is that you could waste a bunch of your skill points just trying to get that. So it's not very likely that you're going to get it every time in a in a short amount of time. However, if we take a look at the E6, recovers one skill point after using enhanced basic attack. So. If you use like two skills to get the four somehow, you at least get one back, but you could go all the way up to like all five and then get one back from the enhanced basic skill. So, excuse me, I haven't had my coffee yet. Overall, I think that she's definitely not someone you should be summoning for, especially since she's not good until you E6 her, and even then it's very unlikely she's that good, right? 
The only unit that's good as a four star in this banner is Ting Yun. I still don't understand why they didn't put this Ting Yun with uh, Hugh or Hu Guay. I don't understand why they didn't do it. That was that would have been such a cool little like Easter egg, I guess, in a sense. But I don't know. Now, Ting Yun is really good in general, right? Where is it? There we go. If we go to like Ting Yun, she's usually in tier two, but she's not in this one. What? Oh, there we go. Tier one. So never mind. She's usually around tier one, tier 1 1.5, but she doesn't leave those areas, right? Because she is a meta character still. She basically helps out with attack bonuses. Um, she's able to basically give you energy to get you your alt. Uh, it's freaking amazing, right? She's still very usable in today's meta. Very usable. Um, however, it's just that it, when I look at the four stars, if I'm looking at all four of them, if I'm going for just Ting Yun, you have a 33.3333% chance at best at getting a Ting Yun, right? For those who get the Scott Snyder uh, math reference. Yeah. But yeah, Ting Yun's great, but it's just with two other very bad four stars, I don't know if it's worth it. Then, of course, the other one that's running alongside Sunday is Jing Yuan. Now, Jing Yuan has kind of had an up and down. Uh, some patches he's really, really good. Some patches he's really, really bad. Uh, as of right now, before the patch that goes up, right? Let's take a look at where Jing Yuan is. So, Jing Yuan across the board is at T2, tier 2, which isn't bad. However, he is kind of getting a little bit more benefits, I would say, when it comes to characters. I know that Sunday, I think, actually helps him out in that regard. If we look at Sunday's abilities, I think that's... Let's see. I believe there was something with his skill. Yeah, enables one designated ally character and they're summoned to immediately take action and increase the damage dealt by 30%. So Sunday's going to be really, really good for Jing Yuan. And I, I don't think Jing Yuan's going to go up further in the tiers, right? But I do think he's going to get a significant boost and we're going to see him like be played a little bit more. I need to rebuild my Jing Yuan for sure. However, I do have some things, right? If you look at Jing Yuan, right? Like, let's say you're going into pure fiction, right? There are... Where is she? Yeah. Herda. Herda goes above Jing Yuan. Himiko goes above Jing Yuan. Clara goes above Jing Yuan. That's on this tier list alone, right? In Memory of Chaos, if we're looking at erudition characters or anything of the sort, right? Uh, Jing Yuan is pretty much right there. Like, he's doing, he's in a good spot with Himiko right there, right? But there's other characters that do outpace him that are, you know, the free-to-play, such as Clara, right? We go to Apocalyptic Shadow, right? He's in tier two again, which is fine. But again, Himiko's up there. Really just outpaces him. So there's even a free-to-play unit that outpace or not free-to-play, but you get what I mean. Like you get you'll get her over time. Especially since we're getting a free five-star selector, right? So to me, if I look at that, I'm like, do I go and summon for Jing Yuan or do I go for the free five-star selector and go for Himiko? The answer is pretty clear. You'd go for Himiko, right? So to me. Jing Yuan is kind of getting the thumbs down as well. Then, of course, Sunday, right? Sunday seems like he's going to be good in his own right. You know, just as we talked about, gives allies in their summon uh, the chance to take immediate action, gives them 30% damage increase. Um, then the damage dealt increases by a further 50%, lasting for two turns. Um, you can recover one skill point from this skill as well. His ultimate recovers energy by 20% of max energy for one designated ally. So he does the Ting Yun thing and turns the target and they're summoned into the Beautified. Uh, crit damage is increased by 30% uh, of Sunday's crit damage plus 12 more percent. At the start of Sunday's uh, turn, the duration of the Beautified decreases by one turn, lasting for a total of three. So this lasts for three turns. So you want to build them up with crit rate, right? However, we already have a four-star unit that kind of already gives us ultimate energy um, and upgrades our damage, right? So you regenerate 50 energy to a single ally and increases the target's damage by 50%. So the only real difference, right, um, for Sunday to Ting Yun is that 
he lets you take action, gives you a 30% boof, boof, boost, and then a 50% or yeah, 50% boost flash for two turns. And then on his ultimate, he gives you more crit damage. So honestly, I think he's still going to be up there. I think he's going to be highly regarded as a very usable unit. But is this a should you summon? I don't think so. And the reason being is because like, yeah, Sunday seems like he's going to be really, really good. He's going to be top tier. But if you look at your four stars comparatively, your Arlen's, your Chingy's, or Quingy's, or Taco Bell, uh, or Ting Yoon, Ting Yoon's great, but like, are you really gonna sit through a banner and be tortured by getting a bunch of Arlen's, a bunch of Quingy's? I am, but that's because I summon for just about every character at HSR. Um, and then of course, if you're thinking about summoning for Jing Yuan, I really, really think that you shouldn't just because of the fact that we're that we're getting the free five-star selector and he becomes a better erudition unit as is. I love Alejandro Saab. That's my boy. I like that dude. Me and him have the same birthday, but I'm just saying it's probably not worth your money. So I would save until Yug or Fugway. <sighs> Ting Yu 2.0. You know, that's basically what we're getting at here. But that's basically all I could say about that. So, are you going to be summoning for Sunday or Jing Yuan? Please let me know in the comments down below. Like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to check out my sponsor, Gamer Subs. Use code TYSTRA for 10% off. And as always, everyone, we will see you in the next video. Please take care and be safe. Man, I'm, I'm breathing weird. Be safe.